The question here is vague, it just wants us to complete the text, so let's just go right to the text and see the best way to complete it. The increased integration of digital technologies throughout the process of book creation in the late 20th and early 21st centuries lowered the cost of book production. So lower cost. But those decreased costs have been most significant in the manufacturing and distribution process. So manufacturing, distribution. Um, which occurs after the authoring, editing, and design of the books are complete. So authoring, editing, design, and what do they say about those? Nothing. This suggests in the late 20th and early 21st centuries. Okay, so they don't say anything, or maybe I'll put it here to match with the arrow. They don't say anything about the authoring, editing, and design, but we do get this kind of arrow for the cost, the manufacturing, and the distribution. So I'd write that down just to pull it out of the text, make it easier for me to remember, because that seems like a lot of stuff that could potentially show up in these answer choices, and I want to have a simple way of referring back to it. So choice A, this suggests that Digital technologies made it easier than it had been previously for authors to write very long works and get them published. Well, the publishing part maybe is right. I'm okay with that, but the writing part, notice that's in that's here. That's in the authoring stage, right? Writing is authoring. So that we don't know anything about, right? We don't we don't know that it's easier to write something long. They just said that that phase exists, they didn't say whether it got easier or harder. So maybe this is right, maybe that's a reasonable assumption. Um, but I don't love that it's talking about something that I don't really have an arrow for. So let's let's see, let's see if there's any better. Uh, customers generally expected the cost of books to decline relative to the cost of other consumer goods. So this has got a, a couple of problems here. Um, just to kind of highlight some, some things the SAT does to make wrong answers. Uh, first of all, expectation, or what I sometimes call intention, or like what's on, what's going on in a person's mind, right? We often are kind of given like uh, stuff like this that that speculates about what people thought or wanted or hoped for or desired, whatever. But we need that evidence to be in the lines. So I don't know what people thought. I don't know what customers were hoping or expecting. So I'm not allowed to speculate. That's not a good thing. This choice also does something. Uh, about, I'll put it here, it, it confuses the main character, right? The main character is the authors and the books, not the customers, right? So that part is, is also wrong. And there's another problem is this is making a comparison that I don't really have any evidence for either. So the comparison sticks out to me. It's declining relative to the cost of other consumer goods. So we're, we're comparing about the cost of books to the cost of other things that comparison just doesn't exist in here. So there's a lot of red flags for this choice. It's a great one to kind of just remind you uh, that there are patterns in how the SAT comes up with wrong answers. And so if you see a comparison, you want to check it. If you're confused about whether choice might be right or wrong, think about the main character of the choice, think about the main character of the passage, and be very careful when they speculate about what people think. Those are all problems that could occur separately in choices, but they're all just crammed into this one. Let's look at C. Publishers increased the variety of their offerings by printing more unique titles, but also printed fewer copies of each title. None of this is talked about. This is all bad. Uh, fewer, more, any words that have to do with number, we should be careful of. And this is giving me numbers in weird places. They never talked about the copies of books. They never talked about the variety. None of this seems to be good. So let's see about D. The costs of writing, editing, and designing a book were less affected by the technologies used than were the costs of manufacturing and distributing a book. Okay, well hold on, that's mentioning all the things that I wrote down in my dumb summary here. So the costs of manufacturing and distributing, well manufacturing and distributing, those went down, right? That's That definitely was affected. So they're making a comparison, so I just said we need to be careful of, com of a comparison. Let's see if we can justify this one the costs of writing, editing, and designing were less affected. Well, that seems reasonable since they didn't say anything about those, right? They, they said that those, that process occurs first, but it didn't say that that process was affected by the new technologies. It just said that it affected the other things. So this is reasonable. Um, I wouldn't be like 100% confident in D, like, it feels like I'm still maybe assuming a little bit here, but I think that that's kind of the point of these, like completes the text, right? Logically completes the text. We need to use a little bit of logic, a little bit of common sense to kind of 
continue the thought that's in the passage. Um, but A, remember, going back to A for a second, what was the problem there? It wasn't that we were kind of like having to speculate. It was more that this is just kind of saying the opposite of what we wrote down, right? This was saying that it, it, the writing got easier, that there's a down arrow here. But we didn't have a down arrow for writing, for authoring, right? We, that's kind of what D is saying, is that we don't know how they were affected they were affected less than the other things, so this is just safer because we don't know, and so this involves less kind of guessing, less assuming on our part, where choice A definitely has a stronger assumption that we need to make, and we don't want to have to justify that with just our logic if we can avoid it. Here in D, it's a little safer, it's a list, less of a leap, and so if you were considering A versus D, try to think about like the distance between the lines and the choice that you want to pick. The further the distance, the more of a leap that you need to make, the more justification that you yourself need to bring in, the less likely that choice is to be correct. We want short distances. We want choices that are very close to what the lines are saying. That usually means it's correct.